Hello everybody and welcome to a CB Show Tunes tutorial. Now today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be covering teleportation scripts. Now I've been on the internet for a while and I've looked around and there's been a lot of teleportation videos but some of them really do not explain what you need. I mean a lot of them run off collision instead of UI um, action and so that's what we're going to basically be covering inside this tutorial and then of course we can carry over into actual collision teleportation at a later date okay so to start out with we are going to be starting out with an empty project as you can see we have our main camera our directional light 3d program and all this sort of fun stuff and an empty project panel so make sure that you have your assets selected selected sorry and then we're going to right click and we're going to create a new script called C Sharp Script. Some people like using JavaScript, but I prefer C Sharp. Okay, so we're going to just call this TP underscore and then we're going to call it script. And not that, just that. Now, what this stands for is teleportation script. You can call it whatever you want, just make sure that it's together. So I'm going to double click this and open up Mono Develop. Now, some of you guys may be using Visual Studios, which is not a bad program to use, but I prefer Mono Develop when making things for Unity. All right, so as you can see, we have our void start and our void update. We don't really need these inside here, so we're just going to erase them. Boom, gone. All right, let's do a couple enters to give us some space. And now we're going to put in a little note for you guys that are just following along. So, I'm going to leave a little note basically saying what we're doing here. So, we're first going to be starting out with some variables, okay? Now, what variables are is they basically allow us to change and edit them and then add them to our script later on. And uh, if that's the best way to describe them. But, I'm pretty sure somebody else came up with a better way, but, you know. So, what we're going to do is we're going to just say target object, right? So we're describing what sort of variable we're going to be making. Next we're going to go use target2. Basically saying where we're going to be bringing our target2. Okay, so to start out with, we're going to be making some public variables. Because if you do not have a public variable, then you can't access it inside your script. So we're going to say public, then do capital G, game object. Do space, and then we're going to name it target. Now the reason why I'm not naming, naming it target instead of player is because just in case we want to use the same script on a different object or game, then you know we can still do, use it. Alright, so we're going to go to target 2. Now just like before, we're going to add a public and then we're going to add a game object, space, and then we're going to just say tp loc1. Make sure that you have a semicolon at the end of these, otherwise it will not work. So I'm going to select this, and then I'm just going to copy, paste, give us about three different locations. And make sure that you name each one of these things different, otherwise you're going to have this error line, which uh, you'll normally see on something like, say, Word or um, Excel. Uh, but basically it's just telling you that you messed up. Okay, so now since we got all of our variables out of the way, we're going to start working on our actual code. So to start out with, we're going to make some public voids. And what this is, is basically saying, this is what's going to be happening during our script. So basically, if we want to access a specific part of our script, then you have to make a public void. Otherwise, say for instance, if it was a void on trigger enter, then you can't access it publicly compared to a public void, you know, whatever, like city one, which I think we're going to use that. So we're just going to use public void city one, open close parentheses. I accidentally pressed enter instead. Uh, so yeah, anyway, open close parentheses, enter, open bracket, enter, enter, close bracket. Okay. So before we add our other cities or our other public voids, we're going to go ahead and add in our teleport script. So I'm going to also leave a little note inside there for you guys, and we're going to say teleport script. Ooh, the scary part. Now how tough is this? I want to show you just so easy. 
Okay, so we're gonna reach up here, double click this, press Control C, click this, or wherever you're putting your script, and put it right there. Oh my goodness, that was hard. Then we're gonna put dot game object. Make sure it's lowercase. And what this does is it allows us to access our game object data. You know, self-explanatory. Then dot. Then we're gonna do transform. Basically saying we're gonna access our game object's uh, position. Say for instance, it's uh, X, Y, or Z position. Then we're gonna say dot position. You know, really easy, right? Then equal. Now, we're just gonna copy this entire script right here. Press Control C, Control V, go over here, and then put a semicolon. Now what this teleport script is doing right now is it's gonna teleport us to us, basically. So our target is gonna be teleported to target when City 1 is activated. We don't want this. So we're gonna double click TP loc 1, press Control C, double click target, press Control V, and there we go. Our script is complete. Now our target is going to teleport to TP loc 1. Easy, right? And what's even more easy is now we can just simply copy this entire script. Press enter a couple times. And then just paste it three times. And then just change these to city 2, TP loc 2. Change this to city 3 and then TP loc 3. Easy, right? Now we're just going to press Control S and now we have our script. Oh my goodness, that was difficult. Oh, but now the hard part. Oh my goodness. So, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our hierarchy and we're going to create an empty. Now what this empty does is it acts, basically acts as our um, controller for our script, our teleport script. So we're going to just call this scene controller. So basically if we want to access this script then we have to go through our scene controller. So we're going to just drag our script onto our scene controller and as you can see now our, all of our public variables are there. Our target, our TP loc 1, our TP loc 2, and TP loc 3. Okay but we need game objects for each one of these. So how do we do this? Well, that's easy. First things first, we're gonna create a 3D object. We're gonna make it a sphere. We're gonna call this sphere, well, first things first, we're gonna reset the position. We do not want our position sitting where it is now. So we're just gonna reset the position and we're just gonna call this sphere player. So difficult. Next, we're gonna go over to our scene controller select it and then drag our player onto our target object perfect right next we're gonna go make a couple objects that we're gonna teleport to so we're gonna make a cube reset it then we're gonna say target and let's go and put its position on the let's see let's do the x-axis and we're gonna say the position is equal to a negative two eh, negative five there we go. Okay, and we need to remove our box collider and we need to remove our mesh render because these are simply points that we're going to be teleporting to and not necessarily points that we want to see. Okay? So now we're going to just copy these by selecting it and then press Control D. Perfect. So now since we got that done, we're going to go ahead and get into basically our scripting and what I mean by scripting scripting is we go to our scene controller and drag our target in there man coding is hard okay right so now we got this all taken care of we now have our script that goes to our player our target our target one and target two now we just need to select these things and reposition them so we're gonna put this at zero and then put this at a negative well let's do just five okay so now we have target one target two and target three well target target one target two you know you know you get it anywho 
Now since we got that done, we need to be able to make our scene controller do something. So, first things first, I'm going to create an empty object and then just drag all of our objects that we're not using into that. And the reason why I do this is just because I hate seeing a messy hierarchy. Now, I would edit this to be specific, like say for instance, I would have my specific objects inside a specific file, but since this is just a tutorial, I'm not even worried about that. Okay, so anyway, we're going to create a UI system, and we need to create a canvas. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be looking at UI and they're going to be like, oh crap, this is difficult. But in all honesty, it's not. It's really simple, really easy to use, you just got to get used to it. Okay, so we're going to keep our canvas as is, except we're going to go down to where it says canvas and screen space overlay. We need to change this to screen space camera. Now we're just going to select our main camera and drag it onto our render camera. Alright, all looks good. Next thing we need to do is right click on our canvas, make sure that it is highlighted blue, and then we're just going to go down to UI, add an image, and we're just going to make this image the entire scene or entire entire screen. So we're going to simply select this right here, go down here, hold down Alt, and then click it. And as you can see, it fills up the screen. All right. So now that we got that done, we're going to select this and we're just going to give it a color. Look at it inside the game menu. Make sure it doesn't hurt our eyes too bad. Uh, a little bit darker, I think. You know. Uh, perfect. Okay. So now since we got that done, we're going to go over to our scene, right click on our image, and we're going to add another UI, and this time we're going to add a button. So now we're going to go over to our game view. As you can see, it looks pretty low, so we're just going to drag it up a little bit. And now we're just going to edit its position. So its X position, I'm going to say we're going to need negative 100. Ah, maybe negative 250. Yeah, that's perfect. So if I go to our game menu, all right, it looks good. So we're going to select this, press Control D, Control D, and we're just going to now position this. So I want this just to be 250, and then put this at zero. Perfect. So now we just need to edit our buttons. So this is going to be button one. This is going to be button two. Now you don't necessarily have to do this, I just find it entertaining. Okay, perfect. So now since we got our buttons edited and set up, we're now going to select our first, second, and third button. So once we got that done, we're going to roll down and see where it says on click. We're going to add by clicking the add button. Now you can subtract this as well by just selecting it and then pressing minus, but we're going to actually have that on there. Now, as you can see, it says none on the object, and we need to make that our scene controller. So we're just going to drag our scene controller onto that. Okay, so this is where it gets fun. You select button one, go to no function, go to our TP script. So as you can see, we have all these things that we have over here, but we want to activate city one. Okay, that's the script that we made. So we're going to go to button 2, go to no functions, we're going to go to TP script, and we're going to access city 2. Then we're going to go to button number 3, add a TP script, city 3. So now if I press play, if I press 1, goes to 1, press 2, goes 2, and press 3, goes 3. So this is a very useful teleportation that you can basically apply in almost limitless possibilities. Say, for instance, you make a teleportation gate, and this is your menu right here. You just simply select where you want to teleport to, and as long as your camera is connected to your player or a child of your camera, I mean, a child of your player, it will automatically teleport to your camera with it. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, check out some of my other videos, and I will see you guys next time.